We're joined by Alan Kelly, Executive Chairman of Miramar Resources. Alan, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. You've just raised money. Why and where does that money go? Yeah, we, we, uh, we just announced that we completed a, a placement for $2.4 million. Um, and uh, we're also going to do a rights issue via an option issue as well. And, and basically that money is going to go to Gigi, our Gigi project. Um, you know, since listing 15 months ago, we've been you know, pretty successful there. We think we've got the potential for uh, multiple new gold discoveries there, but we really need to ramp up the drilling. Um, you know, we had about $2 million in the bank and we could have put all of that against Gigi, but then all our other projects would have been affected. So we decided that we'd, we'd do a placement um, that was very well supported. So now we've got a, you know, a really nice chunk of money to throw against drilling at Gigi and um, we've got targets lined up ready to go. What do the targets look like and when will you hit them? Yeah, so we've been, um, sort of today we spent most of the time looking at the Marlebone target, which is the one that we think looks like Paddington. And we've done about four phases of air core drilling and each time the results have got better. Um, the last lot of drilling we announced um, from work we did in December, we're getting sort of 11 gram hits and 8 gram hits there, so that's pretty exciting. So we've got more work to do there and then some deeper drilling. But as part of drilling Marlebone, we also tested a, a parallel target called Blackfriars. And that's about a kilometre long. It's on the contact between basalt and sediments. And we got an 11 gram hit there too. So we've just finished the air core program following that up and that'll need deeper drilling as well. And then we found a third parallel one that we now call Highway. And that's got similar geology too. So there's sort of three targets side by side that have all got potential for, you know, pretty decent sized discovery. But then to the north at Barara North, we haven't done any work there yet, and it's the same geology, and it's to the south as well. So we've got lots of targets. We're in a great location near Kalgoorlie. So, you know, if you're a betting man, you probably bet that we're going to find something rather than not find something. It's that sort of location. So it's all about news, all about drilling and activity. What, what does the program look like across the portfolio over the next six, 12 months? Yeah, so we've got about um, at least sort of 20,000 metres of air core lined up for Gigi, um, and then probably about five, 6,000 metres of, uh, or five to 10,000 metres of RC drilling, following up those air core hits. We've got some deeper diamond drilling planned as well. Uh, and then we're currently waiting on a, a lake diamond rig for our Glandor project, which is a bit further out of Kalgoorlie. Uh, it's on the Salt Lake. But uh, in the next month or so as well, we'll start looking at our northern projects up in the Gascoigne. Uh, we've got a project called Whale Shark, which has got, we think, potential for a large IACG um, deposit, like an Ernest Henry or a Prominent Hill, something like that. And we're going to do some uh, air core drilling there, uh, hopefully June, July. Uh, and then we've also got work to do at Bangamore, which is our nickel copper PG project. Um, that's pretty early stage. We've got some good late time EM anomalies from a survey we flew in January. We want to get out in the ground and do some field checking of those. Um, so yeah, we're going to be pretty busy between the gold fields and the northern projects over the next sort of six months or so. Great locations across the portfolio. A very defined work program that's going to keep you very busy, but the shareholders happy following the news flow and seeing how these projects develop. Really looking forward to following the progress of Miramar. Alan, thanks for your time. Great, thanks David.